So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Broken arm! Broken arm! Broken arm! Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Today's video takes us to Malacca, Minnesota, where we find a relatively new frauditor plying his trade of protecting our constitutional rights. The only problem is, the boy is an idiot. He hasn't a clue to what he's doing. Enjoy. Ma'am, I'm going to go ahead and file some paperwork with the city of um, Malacca. If you wouldn't mind signing that, photocopying it and returning the photocopy version to me as uh, received. And I wanted to go ahead and take an opportunity and say the same thing to you that I said to the woman in the office next to you. If you felt like I was curt in any way, I do reserve the right to be polite until I've been assured that my constitutional rights are being followed. This is the idiot behind the camera. He seems to have had a run-in with police or administrators in the county. I don't know which it was, but ever since then he's become a constitutionalist and he's fighting to preserve our American rights. Well, I sleep so much better at night knowing all this. And so when I first came in here, I just, I wasn't ready to be sure that the law enforcement inside this building were going to respect my rights. And they admirably so far did so. And so now, now that that's out of the way, um, I'm, a, I'm a constitutional auditor. I'm here to collect the information that I've presented the FOIA for. And um, we just, we try to raise awareness for constitutional rights. We try to, um, inform the public and hold the public officials accountable. He keeps saying we, we, we. I don't see any we there. I see you, frauditor. Now let me ask you a question. Who holds you accountable for your actions, dimwit? When they violate the constitutional rights of all citizens. Well, you realize that I can't get this information. Oh, of course not. Of course not. I was just hoping you could um, put your signature and um, let and photocopy it so I can have a copy for my records that you've received it. Well, I'm not going to sign the form, but I'll go make a copy here. I, I need it to be at least acknowledged that the city of Malacca has received the documentation. Oh, you want someone to acknowledge you. You know what, Frauditor? You have respected no one thus far, but now you want something from someone. Isn't that strange how that works? You have to give a little to get a little, and you give nothing. That's an open records request. Yep, and we have a form. So I don't want your form. I've already presented you with a lawful form, a lawful request. You have to fill that out. No, I don't, ma'am. And we'll take the other form as well. Okay, well, I, I've provided you already with the law for... We don't have your full name. You have... You don't need my full name. You don't need my phone number. You don't need my address. I have provided you with a form that gives you enough to respond to me. You don't need your form. To say that this frauditor has a cocky attitude would be an understatement indeed. Just wait, because it gets better. Okay, I am not giving you my address. I am not giving you my phone number. I am not giving you anything but my email address and that form. You know what? Hey, I have voting. I have video proof. I don't need your form. I'll tell you what. If you don't follow the law, I will make sure you are held to the law. Have a nice day. Fill out the form and you can get your information. 
I am not filling out your form. I have already provided you with documentation that gives the lawful request. What we are all witnessing here is a child. We're witnessing a man who still acts like a child because his parents didn't raise him correctly. They didn't instill values in this man and now he's all grown up and still thinks he's eight years old and can get his own way. If you do not want to follow that lawful request, you will be held accountable to the laws you violate. Have a nice day. It's NABL News. We are NABL News. That does not concern you. You can send the information to the email address provided. Excuse me? It would be helpful to know where you're from. I'm from the United States of America, ma'am. Yeah, we all are. I am a citizen of this country. I am demanding to see how my tax dollars are being paid, uh, being dispersed. Oh, your tax dollars. Oh, yes, indeed. You must have a real job because looking at your YouTube channel, you're certainly not monetized over there. So I wonder what you do for a living. I wonder how you would feel if members of the public came in and filmed you at work. Oh, dearie me. I am a resident of this nation. Yeah. Trust me, I've already read it. Okay. Well, then we just were simply asking. You're not getting my name. You're not getting my physical address. You're not getting my phone number. I have given you the lawful open records request. Failure to comply will be followed up with legal action. Have a nice day, folks. Hold your public officials accountable, people. Well, there you have it, folks. He's quite militant, isn't he? Oh, but he's going to file a lawsuit if they don't comply. That's the only way he's going to make money, because looking at his channel, I know he's not making any money on that. He's only got 171,000 views. A good channel gets that every day or two. Yeah, so I don't know what's wrong with him. He just uh, watched a couple too many YouTube videos, and now it's in his blood. I guess that's what his problem is. If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.